guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today's video is going to be my Christmas decorate with me marathon. I know a lot of you guys wait until after Thanksgiving to decorate and I am all done decorating for Christmas now. So I've been doing videos along and along on how I have decorated my house for Christmas this year, but I, like I said, am completely done. So I thought it would be a fun idea to just combine all these videos into one big video, give you guys two hours worth of cleaning and decorating motivation for Christmas. Because like I said, I know a lot of you guys are decorating now that it's after Thanksgiving. So I hope this video gives you just like a friend to hang out with while you are decorating for Christmas this year and also gives you all the motivation, maybe gives you a few good ideas along the way. And let's go ahead and jump on into it. I've had the Christmas music on and we have gotten started a little bit so far with the Christmas decorating. Let me turn you guys around because my thing that I did this year that I didn't do last year was adding garland to my stairs. Also, before I show you guys the garland, you can see we still have Halloween decor up and I'm actually just going to leave the Halloween decor in all these places until I get to it to decorate it for Christmas. That way you guys can see it go from Halloween to Christmas. But anyway, this is what my garland looks like so far. I'm gonna decorate it. It still needs to be fluffed out. Um, and I'm trying to decide if I want to order more to do these, but I'm not sure because these were nine feet long. So I would have to find some that were shorter, but I kind of like it. I kind of like not having it there and just having it up here because I don't know, I might end up adding a Christmas tree here. Not sure yet. Um, I had one there last year, so I might end up putting one here again and I feel like it might be too much garland if like too much greenery if I have some here, here, and here, you know what I mean? So if I put a Christmas tree here, I definitely don't wanna do this part of the staircase, but I love this. I feel like it really brings the eye up immediately. As soon as you walk in the house, you can see all of this. And oh, also it's pre-lit too. So this is going to light up. But I wanted to show you guys, I also did this area of the staircase too. And to hook it to the staircase, we actually use zip ties because this garland was pretty heavy because it's flocked and everything. Um, so we use zip ties and it's not going anywhere now. But obviously I'm gonna come back and cut all of these off so they're not like sticking out. But look how pretty this is. I cannot wait to fluff it out and decorate it. And also I gotta figure out how I'm gonna light it up too because I don't want like extension cords everywhere. So also need to figure that out. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is getting organized. So I'm just taking all of my lollipops and picks out of the bags, also my ribbon too, and I'm just getting it all organized. That way I can see how much of everything that I have. And I feel like when I'm decorating, it's just a lot easier to balance everything out, um, being able to look at it all at one time and all organized and also you guys might see my niece right here um, my sister and her family were in town and she is helping me decorate today and I was super thankful for the help because we went so fast um, decorating while she was here and I told her we just need to make this a tradition every year they were actually here for Halloween so their kids could trick-or-treat with our kids but I told her we just need to do this every year let the kids trick-or-treat on Halloween and then the next day we go all in and decorate but she is amazing at decor as well I know a lot of y'all follow her over on Instagram her style is totally 
totally different from mine, but still just as amazing. Um, she's into very neutral colors, color blocking, and her Instagram is called Flippin' Thrifted, and she goes to like thrift stores and flips furniture and all kinds of things and decorates with them. So if you don't follow her already over on Instagram, definitely make sure that you do because I know you guys will love all of her content. But now that I have all of this garland fluffed out, you can see we are adding in the deco mesh and I get questions about how I add in my ribbon and deco mesh all the time. And honestly, I keep it as simple as possible. It really all depends on how big you want to make your loops, but I like to make mine about, I don't know, eight to nine, maybe 10 inches apart. And all I do is loop it and then stuff it in. And because my garland is pretty tight and it's also flocked, I feel like it really helps hold in um, the pieces where you want to like stuff it in a lot easier. I don't use any twine. I don't twist my garland or anything like that. I do it the same way whenever I do my Christmas tree. And I actually have another Christmas tree, a white one that we're going to decorate later on in this video. And it goes in the sitting room. And because that Christmas tree isn't as tight as my other Christmas tree and my garland, I'll show you guys a different way I do my ribbon on there because I really feel like it all depends on how tight your Christmas tree is and how tight your garland is if you're gonna be able to stuff it in properly and it actually stay. All right, so I wanted to update you guys and show y'all what we're doing now. So I have the white deco mesh in there and because I'm thinking about putting a Christmas tree here and I'm pretty sure I'm going to, um, I think I want to go ahead and take all of this Halloween decor down and put the Christmas tree right there. That way I can make sure the Christmas tree that I've already decorated balances out with the garland up here. So before I can finish decorating the garland, I just want to get this Halloween stuff put away and then put the Christmas tree there. As you guys can see, I am changing out my wall decor over here. I've got these mirrors and I actually ordered two of them at the same time and I've had the one up in our living room for a while. You guys might have seen it already, but this is the other one and I knew that sometimes I would want it to go in this spot and Christmas is just one of those times when I knew I would want it over here in this area. So I had Justin hang that up for me and then he also brought the Christmas tree down for me because I have been keeping these Christmas trees in my office and these are all my pencil Christmas trees. I think I've got about four or five of them and I've just been decorating them in my office. You guys might have seen that in one of my recent videos where I shared a sneak peek of me decorating them this year. So we've got the mirrors hung and then we also brought down the Christmas tree. We've got the skirt on it but the thing is I feel like we need something to fill this void and I actually got a nutcracker probably about this size um, and I got it for oh Justin's bringing some stuff in for me but I got it to go in front of the big Christmas tree that I'm gonna put in the living room but because I need to fill this space we're gonna try out the nutcracker here oh my gosh push it like closer to the Christmas tree I feel like he needs a little bit of color. So we're grabbing various things and he's got like a hole in the top of his hat and I'm trying to figure out like what might look good there. Like these picks might actually look really cute coming out. Okay, I actually really like that. Yeah. I mean, cause now he goes from like plain white and silver nutcracker to the candy nutcracker, you know what I mean? but I feel like he still might need some blue and I have some blue ribbon and I might tie it, find somewhere to tie it on him or something. Maybe around his hat, like at the like bottom of it there, yeah. So instead of doing some ribbon, I actually grabbed this lollipop and I'm just gonna put it right here. Hopefully, yes, that looks perfect, I love it. 
All right, I had to do a little bit of an outfit change. I was sweating, but my sister just left, so I'm on my own now. Justin's still gonna be helping me, but one less set of hands on this project today. But now that I have this tree over here, I'm ready to do the garland. And since we already have the white deco mesh in the garland, I'm gonna start adding in the blue ribbon, same blue ribbon that I have on the tree over here. So I wanted to walk you guys through how I am putting in this blue ribbon. Like I said, I keep it very simple, as simple as possible, and I'm basically just stuffing it in everywhere I stuffed the deco mesh. So I'm just looping and stuffing in the same areas, and you can still see the deco mesh because the deco mesh is a little bit thicker than the ribbon is, and so you can just see it right behind there. And if you have an area like what you're seeing here where I just couldn't get it to like stuff in enough. You could add a plant tie. It's basically like a bread tie or in my case, I didn't have that. So I just added in a zip tie and you just cut off the excess so it doesn't like stick out or anything. But if you have plant ties, that is a lot better than a zip tie because the zip tie is a little bit thicker but I didn't feel like running to Lowe's or Hobby Lobby for just one thing. As you can see, I am just able to stuff it in um, basically everywhere I stuffed in the deco mesh. I feel like that's how you know when you've got some really good garland or a really good tree is when it's super full and you can just stuff in your ribbon anywhere you need to and you don't have to worry about tying it anywhere. So now I'm just gonna add these huge peppermints to the ends and all the corner points of the staircase and I got these from Hobby Lobby and you're gonna see that there's two different kinds one that has more red than white and the other one has more white than red and I kind of just alternated them to make sure it all balanced out really well So I actually worked on my garland a little bit more and I'm going to share it with you guys later on, but right now I am back down in my entryway and I'm just trying to figure out what I want to go in this corner. I tried a few other like holiday related things, but in the end I felt like they were just too red and green and I wanted more like pastels over here and white. So I put the orchid plant back and I decided to add just a little bit of red. That way I could tie in the red everywhere else with this space right here. And then I added in some lollipops just to make it all flow. And now moving on back upstairs, you can see the upstairs entryway is still decorated for Halloween. So we're just gonna start taking down all of the Halloween decor, which was really easy because we just basically had those fans up there, the paper fans, and I wasn't gonna be using them next year. If I do, I'll just repurchase them because it's paper, just very cheap. Um, so I took those down and took down the white pumpkins and we started decorating and transforming it for Christmas. Justin brought in the Christmas tree and I am gonna turn um, the pink dresser into like a candy land area and it's so cute. Straight to you. 
decorating this orchid plant a minute ago, I kept feeling like something was missing. But I was like, honestly, it's okay if I can't find anything to go there. But whenever I went outside to get the tree skirt out of the garage, I found some glittery blue trees to go here. I'll show you what they look like. They're kind of like the dome trees. So I don't know if you guys remember these. Last year, they were in our guest bedroom. And I was thinking these would go perfect just set in front of this. So let's see how they look. Oh my gosh. That is exactly what that space needed to just tie it all together. So I actually just stood up so you can see it a little bit better all together, but I feel like it just pulls the blue back over here to this area. And there's also obviously blue up here. Yeah, this is perfect. So I've actually been working on my garland all day and I have done two of the pieces. I've got two left and tomorrow I'm gonna share with you guys how I did it. It's just gonna be a lot easier to show you on the other two pieces that I have left. So that's why I haven't really filmed it yet. Um, and also I ran out of ornaments and lollipops and things like that. So the day that I'm filming this is a Sunday. So Hobby Lobby's not open and First thing in the morning, I'm gonna head to Hobby Lobby, pick up a few new things and finish up the two pieces of garland. Um, but also like I would try to film a little bit but because it's so far up there, anytime I would zoom up, the camera would get really shaky or um, you couldn't hear me or anything. And so it was just a lot easier for me to just go on and decorate these. And then tomorrow, I'll show you the pieces of garland that I'm gonna, decorate tomorrow. Because I am standing right here kind of at eye level with it, I feel like it's just going to be a lot easier to walk you guys through these pieces than it would be to walk you all through these pieces right here where it would just be so hard to film. All right, so it is day number two of decorating for Christmas. I went to Hobby Lobby earlier while the kids were in school, got me some more pink ornaments, some picks, more lollipops, everything that I need. And I'm also gonna turn you guys around and show you all the first thing that we're about to do. So today we are going to be doing the garland here. We're also gonna be spray painting these picture frames. I feel like them being white just doesn't pop enough. So I got some turquoise spray paint. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. And then after we get the upstairs landing done, we're gonna work on the sitting room. I've got a white tree that goes in this space right here, and we're gonna decorate it, take all the Halloween stuff down, and put up Christmas, my Christmas pillows, decorations, everything. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything So I've talked to you guys about these frames before I got them at Michael's and they're actually pretty affordable But here's the reason why Because this is not glass, it's plastic and when Justin was just trying to take these apart, the plastic just broke. Luckily, I was in Michael's the other day and I did see that they have more of these. So we're just gonna have to go buy one so we can have a piece of plastic to go over Ross's picture. So we're outside, we're about to start spray painting the frames and while those are drying, Justin's gonna run to Michael's and get the other one so we can have some plastic. But I wanted to show you guys the spray paint I'm using. It's called um, Seaside, like that's the color and I got a gloss finish because I wanted it to be shiny. Um, but it is Rust-Oleum and it's the one that says like 2X. Um, it's a paint and primer. So I'm thinking we'll only need one. I did get two just in case, but I think one should do the job. Now I'm 
ready to get to work on the garland while those frames are drying. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add my two big snowflakes right in the middle. So right here and here. And then after I get those on, I'm gonna add in all of my pink ornaments. Those are the things I ran out of. And so I'm gonna pop those on right now. Then once I get those on, it'll be a lot easier to like put in the lollipops and stuff wherever there's kind of just a blank space. I also wanted to show you guys really quick how I plan to attach these big snowflakes onto the garland. So I actually just have a zip tie here and that's what I used along the whole garland, but it's got this loop in the top. I got these from Walmart. They have them in pink, blue, red, and white. Um, but they've got this little loop on the top and I'm just gonna slide the zip tie through there and then on the other ones um, I actually had to do a little zip tie right here too because it kind of just poked off the Garland and I want it to lay flat. So I also had to do another zip tie right here But once you get the zip tie on you can just cut the excess tie off So now that I've gotten my snowflakes on, I'm gonna add in these pink baubles. And honestly, these were my favorite things about this garland. I feel like it just made it a lot more girly, which is right up my alley. You guys know I love adding pops of pink in my house and this was just like my favorite thing I feel like it it took it from a lot of blue and red to a lot more like pastel looking I don't know if any of this makes sense but I'm just trying to explain why I was so obsessed with them and I don't know if I can explain it it's just a feeling you get it just makes you happy whenever you see it and that's the feeling I got whenever I added these pink ornaments in but now I'm gonna start adding in these pink I got these peppermint ones and also these like white glittery ball ones. Those are from Hobby Lobby. Um, and also I kind of just wanted to run through everything I put in this garland and where I got it from. I'm also going to be doing a house tour later on. So if you don't catch it in one of my videos, then um, I will be doing a house tour explaining where I got everything from. But Pretty much everything in this garland came from Hobby Lobby. The only two things that didn't come from Hobby Lobby are the big white snowflakes and also the candy ornaments that I'm gonna add last. So you guys are gonna see those in a minute. But the snowflakes and the candy ornaments came from Walmart. But like I said, everything else was from Hobby Lobby. And the garland itself came off of Amazon. So I'll link that down below for you guys if it's still in stock and I can find it. I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's pre-lit and it worked perfectly. Like the lights lit right up. And also it is a very thick garland and so easy to work with. But now that I've gotten everything else in, all the picks in, I'm gonna start adding in my lollipops, which were also from Hobby Lobby. I don't think I mentioned that earlier, but these were also from Hobby Lobby this year. So these are the candy ornaments that I was telling you guys about that I got from Walmart. They were like 98 cents each, so super affordable. I got a lot of them. And also they had different kinds, um, not just the ones that you saw in that shot, but they have other kinds too. So if you are looking for some very affordable candy ornaments, definitely check out Walmart before anywhere else because like I said, you just cannot beat that price. Um, and I got some different ones that are gonna go in my tree in my sitting room. They're like red and white candy canes with little bows on them. And oh my gosh, they are so cute. I am just obsessed with all of this like candy theme this year. I feel like I'm finally gonna stick to a theme more than 
once <laughs> because I feel like every year I just change out my theme, but this one I am so obsessed with, I know I will end up doing this next year too. So that's another reason why I'm like, I don't mind splurging a little bit more this year because I know this theme is gonna last me more than a year. I'll probably do this one for like years to come, but how obsessed are you guys with these frames? These turquoise frames turned out so good and I feel like they just pop off the wall so much better than the white did. So now we're moving on downstairs to the sitting room and we're gonna finish up this space tonight. And we're just gonna start by clearing out all of the Halloween decor and putting up the white Christmas tree. And while Justin makes sure these lights work properly, I'm gonna put these new turquoise pillows over here on the couch and I'm gonna take the yellow ones off that I had for Halloween. And I got these turquoise pillows from Walmart if anyone is interested. But now we're just gonna start by fluffing out this tree and making sure it looks full and then adding on all these lights. Most of my trees and now my garland is pre-lit but this is the only one that isn't, so we did have to add lights to this. And now I'm also going to add on this tree skirt, and the tree skirt is from Hobby Lobby. I will say, if you have a flock tree, or if you have a real tree, you might wanna wait to add the tree skirt on last because needles might drop or um, some of the fake snow might drop down and get your tree skirt really dirty. So normally I make that my last thing that I add to the tree, but because this one isn't flocked and it's fake, so I knew the needles wouldn't be falling down, I just went ahead and added it. So I'm adding in my blue ribbon and I'm just looping it through, but you're gonna see that this actually doesn't look good on this tree. And it's because this tree isn't as full as my garland and the Christmas tree that goes in my living room. So normally this kind of technique works for me, but in this particular tree, I just didn't like the way it was looking. So I'm going with another technique this year and I've never done this kind before, but I saw it on Pinterest and I really liked the way it looked. So since looping it through wasn't working out for this tree, I decided let's go ahead and try out this new technique. And basically you're just gonna wrap it around kind of downward and diagonal. Think like you're wrapping it like a candy cane stripe is, if that makes any sense. But you guys will see, I, I just keep wrapping it around, going downward and diagonal with it. And now that I've gotten my ribbon throughout the tree, I'm gonna start adding in my bigger ornaments. So I've got these pink ones. These are the same ones that I added in the garland. And then I also got some cobalt blue, almost like navy blue colored ones. Those were from Hobby Lobby too. On the frozen lake, saying hi to every friendly face. And later we warm up by the fireplace. So we've got our turquoise, our blue, the pink, and now I need some red in the tree. So I'm gonna start adding in these peppermint picks and I actually end up changing some of them out for those like candy cane ornaments that I was telling you guys about. They're red and white that I got at Walmart. Um, I just wasn't loving how many of these picks were throughout this tree and I felt like 
it was all just kind of looking the same and it just needed to be a little bit more interesting. So this is the ornament that I'm telling you guys about. Um, and I just took out some of those red picks and I added in the candy canes. And I feel like that just made the tree a little bit more interesting than it was. Pretty much most of the room is the way I want it, but now I need to decorate this coffee table. And you guys might remember before Halloween, I had this pink pineapple and pink pear up here on these cake stands. So I just put those right back where they were. And then I also added in these really cute figurines that I got from at home and they just look so vintage and fun. And I knew the colors would just go perfect with all of my decorations this year. So I just added one right there on the coffee table and also that one back there on the side table. And then I also got this pillow while I was at Hobby Lobby. I just love the pink color of it and it just says Mary on there. But this is how the room turned out and I absolutely love it. I feel like it tied together perfectly. Oh, I thought it is to ride in the one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. We got so much done in today's video and I'm loving how this is all turning out, but I wanted to let you guys know I have another video coming out on Monday and that's when we're going to decorate the living room and I'm so excited to share it with you guys, but I'm going to leave some more of my videos up here on the screen for you guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and you want to be notified whenever I post new videos and I will see y'all next time. Bye! Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today's video is going to be part of my Christmas Decorate With Me series. Part one is already up, so I will have that linked down below for you guys, as well as my Christmas Head Start video that I did back in October. Um, but today's video is going to be all about decorating the living room. We're gonna be taking down all the Halloween decorations and putting up Christmas. We've got the big Christmas tree and I also have a huge shelf that we need to decorate in here as well as tables putting the pillows on the couch and just making this entire room super fun and festive let's go ahead and jump on into it and I hope you guys love it so we have got 15 minutes before the kids come down for lunch and we're gonna try to take down all of the Halloween decor here in the living room we got to get down all these bats everything off the mantle um, and I've got some stuff over here on this chair, but that's pretty much it. Oh, we also need to get everything off of this table over here. I think we can do it in 10 minutes. Let's see.
literally did that in seven minutes. I did end up leaving up this garland that I have up here because I'll probably just keep that there. Um, and we've got everything put down right there. I need to vacuum off the couch before I add those pillows on. But you can see everything is all cleaned off. I did end up bringing this table in here. You guys might remember it from our foyer area. Um, but I put a Christmas tree in that spot where I had this table. So I just brought this table in here and I'm probably gonna add some decor to it um, this year. As for today, we're just gonna be working on the living room. I feel like this is gonna be the biggest bulk of work. Um, so we're gonna take this chair down, we're gonna put our Christmas tree up over here, and then um, we're also gonna work on, I don't know if you guys can see, this like shelf area, it's super long, and I'm not even really sure what I wanna do with it yet. Originally, um, like last year, I put garland there, but this year I think I just wanna do like a bunch of different trees. They're all different colors, textures, some have feathers, glitter, things like that, but I'm not really sure how it's gonna look until I get it all up there. So that's gonna be an adventure, but like I said, we're gonna get that shelf done, the tree done, and also decorate these two tables, and probably also add something to the mantle right here too. Oh, we need to hang the stockings too, forgot about that. You know what, I was also just looking at this space from this side of the room, and I think just because you can see this area from the living room, I think I am just gonna take this down right now and we'll decorate this for Christmas today too. You guys don't know how tempted I am to go ahead and do the kitchen and the butler's pantry because you can see those two areas from the living room too but I've got to pace myself, I know that. So those two things are gonna be in the next video, so be on the lookout for it. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye true. I didn't do a whole lot over here. You can see I added in this pastel gingerbread house and I think it is so adorable. I got it off of Amazon this year. And then I also got this peppermint candle ball from Hobby Lobby. Adore him. Come let us adore him. Come let us adore him. Cry. So we went to go move the dome chair into our bedroom, but it won't fit through the door. So I think what I'm gonna do is move this chair into Justin's office, which is right over here. I'll probably just put it in this corner. Then this white chair that I have right here, I'll move into this spot and the dome chair will go right here so it can be seen better. So now it's time to get the big Christmas tree in the living room all set up and Justin is doing that for me right now. Um, this tree is so easy to assemble though. It only has three parts to it, but they're kind of heavy. So that's why he's helping me with it. But um, I always get asked about where I get my trees from and they're all from Hobby Lobby except for the white one. I think the white one is from Walmart, but I've had it for so many years. So, um, I think it's Walmart, but I'm not sure. But all the other trees that you're gonna see in my Christmas Decorate With Me videos are from Hobby Lobby. And everything at Hobby Lobby right now, all the Christmas decor is half off. And so I always get them whenever they go on the half off sale. But this is actually our fourth year using this tree and I still love it. We have not had one problem with it. You can see that it's flocked and of course any like flocked Christmas tree, um, you tend to lose a little bit of the flocking every year whenever you decorate with it. But you can still see it's such a full tree, still very much flocked. The lights still work on it perfectly. We've never had one issue with the lights. So I really recommend it. And um, also my 
my pencil Christmas trees I purchased last year. So this year I didn't have to purchase any Christmas trees. I got to use all the Christmas trees I already had, which was amazing. And now I am just going to start organizing all of my lollipops that's going to go on the tree, um, all the picks, all the ornaments, everything. I like to do this before I start decorating the tree. That way I can just have it all laid out in front of me and see what all I have before I start putting things on the tree. So I tend to like a super full Christmas tree. I like for all of my ornaments and ribbons to kind of just take over the tree. So one really inexpensive way to make your tree seem a lot fuller and just covered all over is to add deco mesh and ribbon. And this is one thing that I like to add on first. And deco mesh is so easy to work with. I've talked about this before. Anytime I use it, actually, I talk about how easy it is to work with um, and I do want to say if you are trying out deco mesh for the first time trust me you're gonna think you're messing up but you're not just wait until you get more on the tree to decide if you want to keep it there or not especially when it comes to white deco mesh because it can tend to blend into the tree a lot um, so wait until you get it all around the tree before you decide if you really like it and you might even want to start adding in ornaments or your colored ribbon before you really decide if you want to keep it there or not. But you can see all I'm doing is taking it and I'm doing like 10 to 12 inches at a time and I'm just grabbing those pieces and stuffing it into the tree. I don't use any wire or anything like that. I'm basically just making these big bubbles and popping them into the tree, just stuffing it into the tree until I feel like it's going to stick and it's going to stay and it's not going to come out easily. And honestly, you can't mess it up. Like it just looks so good whenever it gets in the tree. And like I said, this is just a very inexpensive thing to do, but it looks so high end whenever it gets in the tree. I feel like it makes a huge difference. And also speaking of saving money when it comes to decorating the tree, don't decorate the back of your tree. Only decorate the back of your tree if there is a window there and people are gonna be able to see it from the window. Um, you can see mine is up against a window, but this is just our backyard and our neighbors aren't that close to us, so they would never be able to see the backside of my tree. So I don't decorate the backs of my trees for that reason. So don't waste your money on decorating the back of a tree if no one's gonna see it. Use all of your money to decorate the things that people are actually gonna see. But now you can see I'm adding in my blue striped ribbon and I love this ribbon. I'm using it pretty much everywhere in the house this year. Um, and I'm basically just doing this the same exact way I did with the deco mesh. This time I'm grabbing like six inches at a time and just stuffing it into the tree until I feel like it's not gonna pop out. You can use wire if you feel like yours isn't sticking in enough. So don't be afraid to use some wire if you need to, but I didn't have to use any wire on mine. All I did was stuff it in and then pull about six to eight inches out at a time and then stuff it in again. It's Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin. So now that I've gotten my ribbon all in the tree, you're gonna see me adding in these huge lollipops. I start with my biggest things first, and these big like peppermint lollipops were the biggest thing I was adding into the tree. And so I just popped those in. I had two that were more white than red and um, two others that were more red 
than white and I just kind of balanced them out in the tree stepped back a few times to decide where I wanted them to go depending on where I was standing in the room and everything and I really like the placement of these and now I'm just going to start adding in my big pink ball ornaments and I wanted this tree to be mostly pink and pastel even though I did want a little bit of red in here I wanted it to be mostly pastel so I knew I was going to need to cover this tree with pinks and turquoise blue so that is what I'm doing now oh also one more thing about the ribbon I did want to mention to you guys because um, I know I'm gonna get questions and even though I talked about it in the last video I know some of y'all haven't seen the last video so I wanted to mention that whenever I do my ribbon I kind of think about the stripes on a candy cane you want to just go almost downward and diagonal just think about the way the stripes are on a candy cane and do your ribbon like that on your tree and it turns out beautifully but now i'm going to start adding in all the fun colored lollipops the pinks and the turquoise i love the polka dots on them and the sprinkles and the icing this was honestly my favorite part about decorating the tree was adding in all these lollipops So now I'm going to start adding in some of my smaller ornaments and I got these adorable candy ornaments at Walmart this year. They're only 98 cents but they went perfectly with the color scheme I was going with and I mean you cannot beat that price and I use these everywhere this year. I use them in all my trees, all the garland on the staircase. You can see that in the last video I posted and I think they're just so cute. But now I'm going to get to work on the tree topper and I have these longer lollipops um, and I have three of those. I wanted one down the middle and then two on the sides and then I'm going to start to add in all of my picks. I got two different kinds of picks and one is a little bit swirly and whimsical. You can kind of see um, this is the one I'm putting in there now but they have sequins all over them. Super pretty, super whimsical like I said and now I'm going to start to add in my other one that looks a little bit more like tree branches but they're white and have lots of glitter on them but I recommend getting like two to three different kinds of picks if you want to do the top of your tree that way it just gives it a little bit more dimension So I changed my mind a little bit on the mantle. Instead of doing the greenery, I am going to decorate the top of the mantle with a white feather boa and you guys might remember those from last Christmas. I had them in the big Christmas tree then and this year I didn't really have a use for it and when I was trying to decide what I wanted to do with the top of the mantle, I decided to just pop it up there, see how I liked it, and I ended up loving it. Loved how it turned out. But I felt like this area needed a little bit of color, so I have these two like peppermint stands that I got at Hobby Lobby, of course. And then I added my two gingerbread men on the sides. And now I'm gonna start adding in that 
striped blue ribbon that I'm using everywhere in the house and I'm just gonna take pieces of it and loop it through that white feather boa to add a little bit of color to this area and then there were these peppermint Christmas trees that I didn't end up using in my tree so I just popped those on the top of the mantle too. still felt like it was missing a little bit of something. So I thought about it for a minute and I started looking at the other tree that I just decorated and realized there's no pink in this mantle. So I started adding in these little pink ornaments and I feel like that just totally completed this look. And last but not least, I'm gonna hang this adorable banner. It's got little gingerbread men on there. And that is it for the mantle. And I am gonna give you guys some close ups so you can see everything that I worked on. Then you know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall. Then you know it's Christmas for the children above all. Also, if you guys are wanting to know where I got the name tags for our stockings, someone sent them to me from Instagram and their Instagram is called Oak Knoll Creations and I will have them linked down below. I feel like this would make the perfect Christmas gift under $10. They are so beautiful and I love them. But now it's time to get to work on this big shelf up here. And I honestly had no idea what I was doing. I was kind of just adding things and stepping back to see how I liked them. But I had these lollipops left over that I ended up not using in the tree. So I just decided to put those up there, try to balance them out. And then after that, I was going to add some snowflakes that I also thought that I was gonna put in my big Christmas tree and ended up not doing that. And so we just added those up there too. I got these from Walmart and they have them in pink, red, and blue, I think. Um, but I thought they were so cute and they were perfect for this area. And then after that, we started adding in some trees. And if you guys remember last year's video when I decorated for Christmas, I did a Victorian theme and I had lots of burgundy trees up here and I loved the way that looked. So I definitely knew I wanted some trees up here this year. And so we just started adding in all of those trees. I had some pink feathery ones, white feathered ones, and also some blue and gold glittery ones. And I just loved the way they all look together. And I feel like they really tied the whole room um, together because these were the same colors we were using in the Christmas tree too. So it really tied this space in with the rest of the room. However, there was one thing that just kind of felt off about it to me. And I think it was because there were bits and pieces of it that didn't touch. And so it seemed like there were bits and pieces of the shelf that were decorated, but it didn't all flow together. So to fix that problem, I just started cutting up bits of my garland and I popped them in all the spaces that didn't have anything. That way it seemed like a piece of garland went across the end entire shelf and it just kind of connected everything together and I loved it after that. I also did have a few ornaments left over that didn't end up in the big Christmas tree. So why not go ahead and use the stuff that you already have? So you're gonna see Justin adding in some turquoise ball ornaments, the biggest ones that I had, and then also some silver ones too. about what's happened to me from July up till now don't know where don't know how lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes so it's true I'm so glad 
feel it too. Nothing to hide, falling in love. This little table was so easy to decorate. I always put this picture out at Christmas time. I got the frame from Hobby Lobby and it just says best gift ever. And then I got this adorable like gingerbread tree from TJ Maxx this year. And then I did actually end up changing out that lollipop that I put in my floral arrangement. Um, but you guys will see that in the Christmas house tour. I feel like I kind of do that every year. I decorate and then a few days later, I change it out for something that I like a little bit better. For the most part, everything stays the same, but things definitely do get tweaked. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the Christmas house tour and see all the little things that I tweaked. Time's got the best of me, then it starts to snow in our heart. We both know that we're falling in love. To me, it's perfectly clear we're falling in love. It's true. Of course, now it's time for the least fun part of the project, and that is cleaning up behind ourselves. But we're pretty much done decorating in here. At the end of the video, I will give you guys some closer overview shots so you can see the whole entire room and what all we accomplished today. But before I can do that, I need to get this area cleaned up. Not only cleaned up from all the mess, but also vacuumed up because y'all, there was glitter and fake snow and all the Christmas things everywhere. And the last thing that I needed to do to this room was to add the Christmas pillows onto the couch. And I loved how they turned out. I cannot wait to show you guys what it looks like. But not only did I need to vacuum up the rug, but there was all that glitter and fake snow all over the couch too. Um, and I think I mentioned at the beginning of this video how the couch was already dirty before with just dog hair and crumbs and all the normal things. But then on top of that, you add fake snow and glitter and the couch was a mess. I I know you guys can't really see it from far away, but I wish I had done some close-up shots because <laughs> there was a lot on this couch. So before I could add the pillows, I definitely wanted to quickly vacuum that up. With joy. Yes, it's Christmas. Oh. Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. So quick overview of all the pillows that I put on the couch. I pretty much had all of these pillows already except for the two white ones in the middle. They have silver snowflakes on them. There they are. Um, I got those from Hobby Lobby this year. But the Fala La y'all pillow I got oh gosh i think like two or three years ago and then the pink and the white and the green pillows i use a lot whenever i kind of redecorate so those have been sitting in storage but i love how it all looks together and i feel like it ties in all of the colors that i used it's christmas Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you.
I seriously cannot wait to share the next few videos with you guys. In the next video, we're gonna be decorating the kitchen and the dining room area. So you guys are gonna get to see the living room with the kitchen and the dining room and how it all really looks all together. And we're also gonna be decorating the guest bedroom and the two upstairs bathrooms in that video too. So be on the lookout for it. I'm hoping to get it up this Thursday for you guys, but I am gonna be on vacation so I'll be updating you guys over on my Instagram. We're going to be in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and I cannot wait. We're going to have so much fun there. But like I said, I will update you guys if the video is going to go up this Thursday or if it's going to have to go up the following Monday. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're new and you want to see some more of these videos. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is part three to my Christmas clean and decorate with me series. And I'll get into what we'll be decorating in this video in a second. But if you missed part one and part two, I'll link them down below. In those videos, we decorated the staircase and the sitting room, the living room, um, the upstairs landing and a few other things. So be sure to check them out and get all caught up if you haven't seen them yet. But my theme this year is whimsical Candyland Christmas and it is just so much fun to decorate. I've had the best time decorating this year. So if you guys love it, be sure to leave it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who you think might love this video too. And let's jump on into decorating. So if you guys missed part one and part two, I'm gonna link those down below for you guys. But in today's video, we are gonna be working on the kitchen and the dining room area. I also need to get the guest bedroom done because my parents are coming into town tomorrow. So I would like for that to go ahead and be done. I'll probably work on the bathrooms upstairs as well since they're gonna be using one of the bathrooms. I might as well go ahead and do both the bathrooms. But in the next video, I'll work on some other places in the house like the bedrooms and things like that. So. On today's agenda, it is to get the kitchen all decorated, the dining room all decorated. Oh, the butler's pantry is gonna be in this video too. Um, and then the guest bedroom and the bathrooms upstairs. So big day ahead and it's already 2.45. Also, how cute is my shirt? It's got elf on it and it says smiling's my favorite. I was wearing it earlier and Julie came downstairs and she was like, oh my gosh, your shirt. And then she read it and she was like, that's true. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is spray paint this cake stand. I had it up for Halloween and I actually bought it at Halloween time. So you can see it kind of has like a grungy look. It's kind of made that way. But for Christmas, I don't want it that way. So we're gonna spray paint this turquoise. And then you guys might remember this bless this Southern mess sign that I normally have right here. Um, I got that from the Lady and Sons restaurant. We live in Savannah. So um, I got that from the Lady and Sons restaurant, but I'm also gonna paint this turquoise too. And by I, I mean Justin is gonna spray paint this stuff. You guys know I rarely ever spray paint anything. For some reason, I just don't have the patience to paint things, um, but luckily my husband does. So he's just gonna spray paint these for me. He's using the same um, spray paint we were using in the last video. It's the color Seaside. It is a paint and primer, um, and I think I think it's from Rust-Oleum, but um, you can double check on the last video just to be sure. But now we are back inside and I'm just gonna start by taking down all of the Halloween decorations that I had in the kitchen. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to spray my countertops down and just get them all wiped down. There was a little bit of dust and things came off of the garland, some glitter, you guys know the drill. So I'm just gonna get all that cleaned up before I put up all the Christmas stuff.
So how absolutely adorable is this gingerbread house? I got it from the at-home store and it's gonna light up. Um, I couldn't figure it out, so I had Justin come in later on in the video and help me light this thing up, but it is so cool. And pretty much everything that you're seeing me decorate with around the gingerbread house was from the at-home store, except for this tall tree I'm playing with right now. That is from Hobby Lobby. So I can't work on this area and this area until all the spray paint is dry um, because this is where my cake stand is going to go and then this is where the bless this southern mess sign is going to go so justin is bringing down the christmas trees now i'm going to have one over here and one over here they're going to match but i only have one of them decorated <laughs> so um, I'm gonna put the one up that's decorated and then the other one I'm gonna have to go between and try to like match them up. I've also been collecting some Disney ornaments. So I've got Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and then I have lots of different princesses too. And I think I'm gonna put them in the trees either in the dining room or the one that is upstairs on the upstairs landing. Oh, here it comes. This is the one that's obviously already decorated and you can see it matches this tree so well So the thing about this tree is yesterday, whenever I was decorating the big tree in my living room, I actually ended up having to take the deco mesh off of here. And you might can tell a little bit, but there's two different kinds of deco mesh on here. And it's because I ran out of this one. And this one's my favorite because it's got that iridescent look to it. And I feel like it just goes with the decor so well. This one down here also has an iridescent look to it, but it's a lot thinner. This is from Walmart and this one's from Hobby Lobby if you're wondering like what the difference is. Um, so honestly, this one was a little bit cheaper and that's why it's thinner. But I feel like whenever you step back, you really can't tell. But I ran out when I got like to here and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? So I took this strand out of my pencil tree and I popped it in here. So really the only like Walmart deco mesh I have is the bottom line. Luckily, I do have a lot more Walmart deco mesh. So I need to try to weave it through here without messing up the entire tree. So this might be interesting. And then obviously I'm gonna come over here to this tree and put the deco mesh in this one. And you can see these are all the ornaments that we had on here from last year. We've got the pink and white and also the pink ribbon through here. Um, so yeah, I just need to add my white deco mesh and then the turquoise stripe ribbon and then all the lollipops and candy and things like that. So hopefully I will be able to do all that without messing all these up. If I do, it'll just take me a little bit longer to fix everything, but I think they're gonna turn out really good. So I'm on the upstairs landing and I wanted to show you guys this tree. So I'm actually gonna snag a few things off of here because I am running out of all these small candy ornaments like this and I really just don't wanna buy anything else. I'm almost done decorating my house and I just don't wanna run back to the store. So, like I said, I've got those Disney ornaments, and what I'm gonna do is just replace them with these. So any of them that I take from this tree, I'll just replace it with one of the Disney ornaments. Very Merry Christmas, we'll have this year. Very Merry Christmas, without all tears. Every
even notice them unless you're like right up on it. Justin said it's like hidden Mickey's, but you can see Belle and Minnie Mouse. Cinderella's down here. There's Merida, Tiana, Pocahontas. They're all in here. Sleeping Beauty. Down here is Mickey, Jasmine, Mulan. But I think this is so cool because you really can't even see them unless you're really looking for them. So now we're gonna get to work on the pencil trees that are in my dining room. And since this one is pretty much fully decorated and all I had to do was pop in the deco mesh, I decided let's go ahead and start here. That way when I get to work on the other one, I can try to balance them out as much as possible. And I can use this one to um, reference whenever I'm just trying to balance them out. And you can see I'm adding in this deco mesh pretty easily. So if you've been thinking about adding deco mesh to your tree and you just haven't yet and your tree is fully decorated it really wasn't that hard to add it in and what i decided to do this time was to just weave it in um, straight down sometimes i do that with these pencil trees because they are so thin but whenever i'm decorating other trees um you guys know i've talked about doing like a, a weaving in and out but doing it in like a candy cane line so you're going around the tree but also weaving in and out at the same time so sometimes i like to do that but like i said i was really trying to not mess up all the ornaments that i already had on the tree and also these pencil trees are so thin so i just decided to weave it in and out of the tree and go straight down well, that was pretty easy. The only things that came out, oh, this is twisted. Um, the only two things that came out were these um, peppermint sticks, which they weren't like, they're not easy to stick in there anyway because the stick is so short. They just don't want to stay put. So, oh, okay. Well, now they're going to stay put, of course, as soon as I say that. It's cold outside. Keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're Everything will be okay Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out so now that I've gotten all of my ribbon and deco mesh in the tree, I'm gonna start adding in all of my lollipops. And I like to add like the big ornaments first. Obviously I still had a few ornaments in here from last year, um, but the bigger things always go in first. I feel like it's just a lot easier for me to decorate my tree that way. But all of these big lollipops came from Hobby Lobby. Pretty much, I think everything on the tree except for the deco mesh came from Hobby Lobby. Um, but if you're watching these videos and you see something you really love and I don't mention where it's from, be sure to subscribe because I am gonna be doing a Christmas house tour and that's gonna be out probably early December. But in that video, I'll talk about where I got everything from Christmas decor wise. Um, so yeah, be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. But after I added in my lollipops, I started to add in my pops of red. So I had my peppermint sticks and then also those red and white polka dot ornaments. And I feel like that just added that little pop of red that I wanted. I didn't want a whole lot of red in here, but I did want just a little bit to tie in the rest of the house. Um, but I mostly wanted pastel colors on my trees. So didn't go overboard with the little bit of red. And I just started to add in all of my small 
um, candy ornaments that I got from Walmart. And as I mentioned, while I'm decorating this tree, I'm kind of looking at the other tree just to reference and try to balance everything out, make sure everything kind of looks very similar. Cause when you have two trees this close together, you definitely want them to be balanced. So every time I put something somewhere, I'm kind of looking at the other tree just to make sure it's gonna all be balanced and flow together. And it doesn't have to necessarily match, but it does have to coordinate in a way and honestly the only word I can think to use is balance even though I've used it a million times that's really what it's all about and as for my picks I'm adding in these two kinds that I got at Hobby Lobby one looks kind of like tree branches but they're white very like frosty and glittery and then the other one is like very whimsical swirly it has um, sequins on it and because I'm going for that very whimsical look I feel like that really tied it all together let us adore him come let us adore him cry Sing all your citizens of heaven above Glory to God in the highest Come let us adore Him Okay, so now that our spray paint is finally dry, we actually ended up doing two coats on them, so it took a little bit longer, but now that it's finally dry, I'm gonna just clean off all of my Halloween decorations that I had over here in this corner of the kitchen, and I'm gonna wipe my counter down before I start putting up all of my Christmas decorations. And I forgot to mention earlier, I'm using the Mrs. Myers peppermint scent. This scent is my go-to every holiday season. I absolutely love it. Um, if you haven't tried it out yet, I highly recommend it. But you can see I added my sign over here. I love it being this turquoise color. And I just added these two pink glass Christmas trees and I got these from Hobby Lobby. But I love how it just adds that little bit of pastel pink over here, kind of ties the room together. And then we're moving on over here to where my stove is. And I'm just adding a few Christmas trees over here some candy related ones and some like traditional tri Christmas trees and also this Christmas countdown that I've had for years I got it from Hobby Lobby and then over here moving back over to the side we were decorating I just added this Grinch um, candy jar and I just put that on top of the turquoise cake stand added a few decor items that I've had for years and I just love the way it turned out I love how the Grinch looks on top of this cake stand at first I was a little bit hesitant about how the blue and the green was gonna go together but honestly I couldn't imagine it any other way I feel like they go together perfectly and there's so much green in my decor and there's so much turquoise in my decor this year it really brings it all together So now I'm going to get to work over here above my microwave. I've got these cabinets with the glass doors and honestly I wish I had some lights in these cabinets because I feel like they would be a lot easier to decorate if there were some lights in here. But even when I decorate in here it tends to be very dark and because it's so high up you almost don't even notice it. So I knew that I definitely needed some light and bright stuff to go in here nothing too dark so I'm really just gonna go back and forth with what I put in here you guys are gonna get to see me like go throughout this whole process but the feather boas do stay and I actually added in some feather ornaments that I've had 
for years but it just added some height a little bit because I felt like if I just added in the um, feather boa it wouldn't be tall enough so I popped those ornaments in um, just to fluff it up even more added the feather boas and this is when I really just start to play around with different things with ornaments lollipops all of that and I actually don't come up with anything like that I stick to until later on in the video I have this in there for now but I come back to it later and add a few other things so we'll get back to this area later on but for right now we're gonna go into my butler's pantry and start decorating in here but first we're gonna clean off all of the Halloween decorations and clean the countertop off and add the greenery in and then we'll start playing around with all the fun decor So I had these small wooden green trees that you just saw me put in front of that poinsettia here, but I felt like it just blended in too much and I really liked the way it looked without it better. So I decided not to use them in this particular place, but I thought this would actually be a perfect thing to pop in those cabinets in my kitchen that I have above the microwave. So I added those in there and I feel like that's exactly what this space needed to complete it. Just add a little bit more color and brighten it up and I don't know, make it a little bit more festive in those cabinets. So this is how the space turned out. I love how the white feathers give it a snowy effect and the trees and the elves are just that perfect pop of color over there and the lollipops added that candy theme that we have throughout the house but back over here to the butler's pantry i wanted to show you guys what this space looks like now that it's done how adorable are these signs i got them at the at home store i feel like they are perfect for a bar area with the little sayings on there and i wanted to add a little bit more color in this space so i added these pink glittery ornaments and also the poinsettias to the greenery So before moving on to decorating anything else, I wanted to get everything cleaned up. We had a complete disaster everywhere. And sometimes when I'm decorating, like I love decor, but I hate clutter. And sometimes it like messes with me whenever I am seeing a mess while I'm trying to decorate. Sometimes it's inevitable and there's just going to be a mess when you're trying to decorate because you don't really know what you want to do yet and there's kind of just decor everywhere while you're decorating. But every once in a while, I like to just tidy up the space before moving on to anything else. That way I can see how it's actually going to look when we're just living a normal day and there's not this much decor and um, bags around and just things like that. So we're just going to get this space all cleaned up before we do anything else in this house. And while I'm vacuuming the dining room, you're gonna see Justin come through here and add the tree skirts to the trees. And I love these, they're just white and feathery. I actually have the same exact one on the tree in the living room. And I got these from Hobby Lobby, but I love them. I feel like they could go with any type of decor. Um, if you were decorating with your traditional colors, like red and green, it would go with that. It really goes with the whimsical theme. Um, also, if you're decorating with like black and white, maybe buffalo check or something like that. These tree skirts, I know I'm gonna have for years and years to come because they just could go with anything. So 
I wanted to show you guys an overview of how everything is coming along together. The living room, the dining room, the kitchen, all this whole open area looks all together and the progress that we made on this particular day. I am going to pick up in a few minutes and show you guys what I do. The next day we're going to decorate the upstairs bathrooms and the guest bedroom. So stay tuned for that. But right now I wanted to show you guys all the progress we made on this day and some close-up shots because I know sometimes from far away you can't really see what things really look like. So just wanted to give you guys some close-up shots of everything we did today. Also, I would love to hear down below in the comments how you guys are decorating this year for Christmas. Do you like the more traditional colors, red and green, or are you doing like buffalo check, or are you doing something really different, like a retro theme? I've done that before and it was really fun. It actually looked a lot like this theme that I'm doing this year. Um, do you like the white theme, like the snowy winter wonderland theme? What are you guys doing this year? So yesterday we worked on the kitchen and the dining room area. It's all done, but my parents are coming into town in a few hours and I have not gotten the guest bedroom done and also the two bathrooms done upstairs. So I need to get those done. We actually just put the guest bedroom sheets in the washing machine. So what I'm gonna do right now is go upstairs and just basically take all the Halloween out of the guest bedroom. I only have a few things in there. Um, so that should be pretty easy. And then I need to take down the Halloween shower curtains that I have in both of the bathrooms and put up my regular shower curtains. I did order Christmas shower curtains, but they never came in. And um, I checked on Amazon today and it's still like, it, it never got shipped out. So luckily I do have some backups. I've got a white and gold Chevron one that I've had forever. <laughs> and then I also have another white um, and silver glittery one. So I'm just gonna put those in the bathrooms and add a few like Christmas things in there um, just to make it a little more Christmassy. We are hitting a little bit of a snag. I'm upstairs and I'm looking for those shower curtains and I cannot find them anywhere. I have no idea where I put them or if I even kept them because the white and gold one I've had for probably five years or more, probably more than five years. So I might have just gotten rid of it because I had planned on getting those Christmas shower curtains. I might have to go get shower curtains. Luckily, I have the best husband in the world and he knew I was crunched on time just trying to rush everything before my parents got there. And so he ran to the at-home store to find some white shower curtains and just a few other like Christmassy decorations while he's there so I could decorate these bathrooms. And while he is at the store, I'm gonna get a head start and I'm just gonna take down the Halloween shower curtain that I had in here. So now we're in the guest bedroom and I know this looks really weird because I am making the bed without sheets on it, but the sheets were in the washing machine and so they were being washed. But to be able to decorate this room, like I need to be able to see how it's all gonna look together. And so I wanted to get this bed made before I started decorating for Christmas. So all the Halloween is cleared out, but when I was making this bed earlier, I noticed that there's quite a bit of little like lint fuzzies on here. And this is the first time I've noticed that. So I am gonna take this up and change out the bedding. Luckily, I have a spare and I think it's gonna go good with all the Christmas decor. I've got a few different options of Christmas decor that can go in this room, but pretty much everything matches with tan and white. So I'm gonna change out the bedding real quick.
It's Christmas The fire crackling gently all the while Snow is falling down Guess everything's just right But I'll be wishing you were here with me A town filled with wonder and delight The season to rejoice brings everybody close But I'll be missing you right next to me Feels kinda lonely when you're a million miles away but maybe there's a star to lead the way Cause I wanna hold you when Santa's coming around And kiss you right beneath that mistletoe So here's how the guest bedroom turned out. I love it. I transformed this room so easily and I actually only spent $25 on this room. Everything else I had already had um, and it was just in storage from either last Christmas or Christmases before that. The only new thing I bought this year was this accent pillow and it was $25 from at home if you guys are looking for it. But the red pillow I had last year, I think it was in the homeschool room. This red throw I've had since last year. I got the red deer last year and this was my favorite thing that I did over here. But the red deer was from Hobby Lobby last year. I just put it on top of this Zizo & Co pedestal. You guys ask me about um, my pedestals all the time. They're from Zizo & Co, so I'll link them down below. And then I just cut up some of this greenery and put it around there and it's sitting in this tray which this tray was in the room before i've got these boxes that i brought in here i talked about these in my fall decorate with me but my sister got these for me um and she got them from a thrift store and i decorated with them for fall and then since then they've been sitting in my office but i just brought them out here because i felt like the cheetah print went really well with the cheetah print up here and kind of tied in that theme and then over here on this side of the room i've got this little christmas tree it's green and glittery it came from hobby lobby i feel like i've had that forever <laughs> and then over here these pillows red pillow was from home goods last year it is so pretty i don't know if you guys can really tell but there's pearls and all kinds of glittery beads and it's just so pretty um, but I, like I said I got that from home goods last year and then these two pillows I've had this white one forever and then the yellow one I got back in the summertime but how cute I feel like I just transformed this room so easily and so cheap Back over to decorating the bathroom. This is the guest bathroom, but we're also gonna do the kid's bathroom in this video too. I'm just gonna get this shower curtain hung up and honestly, I wish I had had time to iron it because it is a little bit wrinkly, but fingers crossed whenever someone takes a shower, the steam will straighten it out. But now that I've gotten the shower curtain up, I'm just gonna start to decorate this area over here by the sink. Kind of go back and forth a few times with what I wanna do over there, but I'm also gonna change out the towel and the hand towels and just make this bathroom really Christmassy. A few of the things I had already had but some of the things are new this year from the at-home store and at about this time it was about 30 minutes before my parents got there so I was really on a time crunch just to get everything done. Luckily I feel like everything fell into place.
So I wanted to show you guys the end result of the kid's bathroom. I got this adorable white nutcracker and he's got glitter all over him. I got that from the at-home store. Also, I don't even know what you would call this red and white polka dot thing. I guess it's like a glass tree. I don't know. It's really fun though. And I love the pop of color that I added over here. And then I also have my iced cinnamon rolls hand soap from Bath and Body Works. Last but not least, I put this hand towel up and he's seen better days. So I think I'll probably end up getting another one, but just to get me by for now, I put this one in here. But you can see his little pom-poms coming off. So in the next video, I'll probably update you guys on the new hand towel that I end up putting in here. I also don't think I showed you guys, but I added the tree topper to this tree in the upstairs landing. Finally, I went around the whole house. I think I had two other pencil trees that didn't have the topper on them. So finish that off. But in the next video, we are going to be taking down all of the Halloween decor in the homeschool room. I'm seriously embarrassed about how long it's taken me to get to this room, but it is what it is. So we're going to take down all the Halloween decor in here and put up the Christmas decor. And I think I'm even going to spray paint these bottoms of the lamps, um, that turquoise color I've been playing around with. It'll either be turquoise or... Um, pink not sure yet i'll also be decorating justin's office for christmas in the next video i still have all of my halloween decor up in here too so his whole office needs to be decorated for christmas i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do yet i'm kind of toying around with getting another pencil christmas tree to go in that corner but we'll see and then i will also be decorating our bedroom Still trying to figure out if I wanna do something in the kids' bedrooms because I've done some Christmas trees in their bedrooms before and the ornaments just end up crazy in the end. So not really sure if I'm gonna decorate in their rooms this year or not, but stay tuned. If I do something, it'll definitely be kid-friendly. So if you're trying to figure out what you wanna do for your kids' bedrooms, then stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you are new to my channel and you wanna see more videos. And I'm gonna leave my other two videos up here for you guys, part one and part two, so you guys can check them out if you wanna get up to date on everything we've decorated so far. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today we're gonna get started in the bedroom and we're gonna get this place all tidied up the bed's not even made yet um, we're gonna get this place all cleaned up and then we're gonna decorate for Christmas I've actually gotten started a little bit and I'm gonna flip you guys around and show y'all so I'm not really sure yet if I want to keep the greenery up here I thought it would be a good idea I've seen lots of people do this like on Pinterest and stuff and I thought it would be really cute but I'm just not sure yet. And I think maybe I won't be sure until I get the bed made and the room kind of comes together and is like completely done. So that's why I want to start in here because I've kind of already gotten started and I feel like I won't really know if I want to keep that greenery there until the room is completely done. If I don't want to keep the greenery there, I do have another place for it and I don't want to get started on that place until I know for sure if I want the greenery here. It's all, it's all gotta come together. So let's go ahead and get started on this bedroom.
So I got this beautiful new pillow from Home Goods this year. I love the plaid and I love the little bits of blue that it actually has in it because I feel like it's just gonna go with everything I have in the bedroom so well. You guys know we've got these blue pillows on the bed and then I also have a blue throw that I put at the end of the bed and I felt like this was just so perfect for our bedroom. I also felt like because these colors are very rich, um, I've got a lot of pastels in the house, but because it's like rich colors, I felt like this was going to go with the garland that we have above the bed better as well. But now I'm just working on the side tables, getting everything wiped down. The lamps were a little bit dusty, and we also had some pink floral arrangements that I had on both of our nightstands, and I just wanted to change those out for something a little bit more Christmassy. These candle holders I got from Hobby Lobby years ago, but I have seen them back every year since. So if you're looking for them, that's where you can find them. But I feel like the greenery and the berries just matched perfectly with the pillow that we have on the bed and also the garland that we have above the bed. And the garland is also from Hobby Lobby too. And I did not have to put any extra berries in it. It came exactly like that. But now I'm just gonna get to work on adding the blue throw to the end of the bed. Y'all know I love showing y'all a good old close-up shot so y'all can see my dirty little secrets. I know that from far away you guys could not see the dust that was on this mirror, but up close you really can see how dusty and dirty it was. So I just wanted to get this wiped down before we started decorating anything else in here. So I think I'm really liking the way the garland looks up here now. Um, and I've got this side of the bedroom all clean and decorated, but look over here. We got some work to do over here. And I actually went and got a little Christmas tree. It's probably gonna sit about that tall. Um, and it's pre-lit and it looks a lot like the garland that I have. So, and luckily there's an outlet right there. So I'm gonna be able to plug it in right there. Um, so I need to clean all of this up. This is like decor that I bought, like just pillows and stuff for the bedrooms, a few Christmas trees, things like that. So I need to get all of this out of here. I'll probably just move it into the living room for now and put the Christmas tree up and then decorate this right here. You guys can see I've still got some pumpkins up there on the candlesticks but look how cute this is. I got this at um, Hobby Lobby and it says meet me under the mistletoe. Thought that would be perfect for the master bedroom. But yeah, let's go ahead, get all of this um, decorated, all of this out of here and the Christmas tree put up. I brought this gorgeous blue and white ginger jar into the bedroom. I felt like it was gonna go with our lamps really well, but I wanted to take the pink peonies out of it and just have the white flowers and add some poinsettias into it too. 
but the white flowers were not tall enough so what I did was I just started adding some paper down into the bottom of this um, ginger jar and that added some height to my flowers and then I could just put in the white flowers and the poinsettias So Justin went out to the garage for me and put together my little Christmas tree. This is also from Hobby Lobby if you're looking for it. And it does come with the like pot down at the bottom of it. Um, so you don't need a tree skirt or anything like that. But now I'm just going to get it all fluffed out, get it the way I like it. I'm still thinking about maybe adding a red bow to the top. So you guys let me know if y'all think I should do that or just leave it the way it is. I also ended up changing out this red candle for a blue one and I love this so much better. I feel like it really balances out the blue on top of the dresser. While I drink my tea, I wanted to show you guys what I did on our back porch yesterday. I went shopping at Hobby Lobby to get a few things. I got these pillows there, which are so pretty. And I don't think they're technically outdoor pillows, but if you feel the fabric, it feels like outdoor pillows. So that's one of the reasons why I chose those. And then I got this adorable plaid runner. I came over here to this side so you guys could see it a little bit better because the sun was just shining right on it. But I got this adorable plaid runner from Hobby Lobby too. This Christmas tree is from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm pretty sure this is also from Hobby Lobby, but I got it last year. But I love this Santa. His beard is all glittery. It's so pretty. Um, just popped another red pillow on that side. And then over here on this side of the porch, this is where our couch is. And I just put this pineapple in this tray and then put some greenery and some berries around it. Super cute. And then over here on this side, I put up this um, Santa Claus says Merry Christmas on there. And I just put it right beside that plant. But I think all of this looks so cute together. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I just recently got some of these new pedestals in from Zizo & Co. And how adorable is this one? It's shaped like a Christmas tree and is that teal color, goes perfect with all of my decor this year. So I just brought it into the butler's pantry and popped this sign on top of it. Let me show y'all what it looked like before. I feel like the pedestal just really made this area like it kind of gave it a base because that's what it looked like before um, and this is the other side over here and because this side is taller i just wanted to add a little bit more height to this side and so i just took this teal christmas tree and popped it right there how adorable is that so we're standing in my foyer and i wanted to show you guys another thing that i did off camera i don't know if you guys can see like from far away but I'm zooming in on it now I've got this candle up here and originally I didn't have it on a pedestal and from down here you just couldn't see the candle at all but I knew I definitely wanted a candle there because I wanted 
some scent like as soon as you walk in the house. So what I did was just add another one of those pedestals right here. How pretty is this one? It's got glitter all over it. I'm trying to get it at an angle where you can see all the glitter. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, so yeah, I just popped this candle right here. It smells like a Christmas tree. And then wanted to add a little bit more decor, so I added this glittery white reindeer. I'm out in the garage. It's a huge disaster out here, but I came out here um, to go through my bags. These are the bags that were in our bedroom yesterday that I moved out to decorate, um, but I got these gorgeous hand towels, so I want to put these in the master bathroom, but I'm trying to figure out like how I want to decorate in there. Um, maybe some garland on top of the cabinets, which I already have. Um, or maybe some of these Christmas trees. I'm trying to go through some stuff and figure out what I want to do. As soon as I came out here, I remembered that I need to do the kids' bedrooms too. And I keep forgetting about their bedrooms because it's basically just adding pillows to their beds and um, adding a few like decorative pieces to their dresser or side tables or something. So it's not like a big deal. So that's why I keep forgetting, but we are going to do that later too. But I do have these picks right here with the red berries on them. Um, and I decorated with these outside on the back porch in that greenery. So I'm thinking if I add some greenery to the top of the cabinet in the bathroom, then I could just pop these in for a little bit of color. But I think that would be perfect so we could balance out the hand towels that I'm going to put up in there with the berries and the greenery and everything. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over, we'll be dancing round. So now that I've gotten the bathroom all cleaned up and the garland is up here on the cabinet, I'm just gonna put these hand towels up. I love the way they look. Um, like I said, these are from Home Goods if you're looking for them. But now that I've got these hand towels up, we're gonna go back over to the garland and just start decorating that. I'm adding some of these white ornaments that I had last year in our Christmas tree and the picks I had last year. And then the red berries, I really feel like just brought this to life, added that pop of color. And like I said, I got these from Hobby Lobby this year. All right, so now that we've gotten that area decorated, let's move on over here to where my bathtub is. And I'm just hanging this white towel. And I'm also just gonna arrange these candles the way I want them. I got these candles off of Amazon and love them. Um, they're just battery operated and they have a remote. But you can see I added these red bows to my lanterns and I felt like I just needed to bring it to life a little bit. And there is something about adding greenery that just really brings the space to life. Like that's the only words I can think to describe how it makes a space feel and look. So I'm just adding it around the bow and then I'm also gonna add the rest of the greenery around the candles. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, 
have come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide but falling in love. To me, it's perfectly clear. We're falling in love. It's true. This part of the year has something in store for us. We're falling in love. Summer ended, but we did not. Now it's time to move on into Justin's office. You can see I still have Halloween decor up in here. I think I haven't really noticed it that much because they're technically like nutcrackers, but I really need to move out the Halloween and start the Christmas. So I'm adding in these like holly picks um, and the greenery on it is like frosted. So I love these. I got them from Hobby Lobby and also these like gold ball picks also from Hobby Lobby. Pretty much almost all of my decor is from there. And then I felt like it needed a little bit of color, so I'm adding in a few red ball ornaments. And I think it turned out great. Like, it was just a few steps, and it probably took me I don't know, maybe two minutes to get this done. And I love the way that little space looks over there on his hutch. But now he is going to put together this pencil Christmas tree for me. I did end up buying this Christmas tree this year. I had said, I've got all the Christmas trees I need, but I really felt like his office just needed a little bit of Christmas in there. And this pencil Christmas tree is just perfect for this spot because I don't know if you guys remember the before shot, but there was another like fig leaf um, tree over here in this corner and I just wanted to move that out and put a Christmas tree in its spot so I've got some white ornaments going on here red and also gold and then I'm gonna add in a few little antlers um, just for like a manly touch because my husband does hunt and I thought that would be a nice touch for his office So I'm gonna put my DIY tree skirt on here now, and you guys have probably seen me do this before, but if you don't have another tree skirt and you don't wanna go out and buy one, then you can use some blankets that you have. And I have this one, it's just a white furry blanket, and I feel like it looks like all the rest of my tree skirts anyway. And I just decided to pull that out of our closet and pop it around this Christmas tree. It kinda looks like snow. But we're just gonna move the desk back now, get this office all back in order. And I'm also gonna add this red snowflake pillow that I got at Home Goods this year to his chair in there, just to add a little bit of red over there to that corner of the room. And that is it for his office. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I wanted it to kind of blend in with the rest of the house, having a lot of red and white, um, but I also wanted it to be like his own little space and kind of reflect his personality and who he is. So I feel like it turned out perfectly.
so now I'm gonna get to work on my front porch and I'm just adding these pillows to the chairs. They say cookies and it's got little gingerbread men on them and I'll show you guys a close up in a second. But I was also feeling like it needed a little bit of height to this area um, because those pillows were a little bit low. So what I did was just flip around the pillows that I had on there so you can't see the pumpkins and I feel like it really gave it a base and added a little bit of height to the chairs over there. But I'll show you guys a close up of that in a second but now Justin's gonna move out the pumpkins that I had and I'm gonna take this little scarecrow girl down from the door and we're actually tying a zip tie around this snowflake so we can have it hang on the door and I got this snowflake from Hobby Lobby and I feel like it just really pops off of our door since our door is black and now I'm gonna add a few bows to our little topiary pieces over here. I love these, I got them from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Who could have guessed that? And they're just white and they have like a red outline on them and I feel like they're just gorgeous, I love them. But now I'm gonna add this little um, box over here. It says Merry Christmas and um, I'm putting some greenery in there, some of these really fun white and glittery picks and adding some lights. So over here in this area at night, it sparkles too because we are gonna add some lights to our like yard. So our bushes are gonna be all lit up and everything. But over here, I just wanted a little bit of sparkle too. So I thought it'd be fun to add these lights into that little box. So it's the next day and we are about to put the lights on our bushes but I bought a few things when we were at Lowe's. We had to pick up two more netted lights for our bushes um, but while we were there I picked up a few other things. I ended up getting this rug there at Lowe's. It says hey y'all but they really didn't have any like Christmassy rugs. They had one and I didn't really love it. Um, and I just wanted to go ahead and get something, but I feel like it really goes with what we've got anyway because the black kind of ties in with the black door. Um, and I am kind of glad that I won't have to change this out once January comes around and I take down all of my Christmas decor. So this will be there for a while. I also got this new Santa Claus garden flag. Still a little bit wrinkly, but I just put it out today. Um, and as humid as it is, I'm hoping that'll just take the wrinkles right out before the end of the day. Also, anytime I show like our front yard, the bushes and everything, I get questions about what this is. It's pine straw. We do this a lot here in the South instead of like mulch and stuff. But yeah, it's just a lot cheaper to do like pine straw in front of the house instead of mulch. But I will say that we recently got some more pine straw and um, I hate the way they put it on. They just got it like all in the bushes. So I really wanna like come around before Justin puts the nets on the bushes and get all the pine straw off of them and just clean them off because that looks awful whenever you can't see the bushes so we're gonna clean those up first wow you're moving fast this thing's a lot smaller than i thought though <laughs> like i'm putting them on and it's like i thought i i remember them being big enough to like go over the whole bush but they're not like you can actually just like wrap the front side which would be what's seen from the street but yeah i think yeah, it'll be fine pretty easy though yeah i mean after i said all that about the flag and the pine straw you already had two of them done yeah Oh my, what a pretty girl you are. Everyone always loves it when I show the pups. She's sitting here like a good girl. We can't let Bailey out. He will run the neighborhood, but this old girl stays put. <laughs> all right, so I got all the bushes cleaned out. No more pine straw in them. And Justin got all of the lights on the bushes that we want them on. We didn't end up putting lights on like the smaller bushes. So just the big bushes over here but now we are about to put up our snowman and i think i'm gonna put it over here because this is a big space um, between lights so we've got lights in this bush and then lights in this one so i think it would go really good right here
While I'm waiting on it to get a little bit darker so you guys can see what our front yard looks like with the lights all on, I came upstairs and I decorated the kids' bedroom. So let me flip you guys around so y'all can see. So here's how Julie's room looks. She actually picked out everything that she wanted in here. So she's got a few things over here on her dresser. This mother of pearl um, Christmas tree. We got this at Home Goods. She also picked out this little reindeer. I told her we were gonna go with a gold theme since um, I felt like that would match with her room. And she's got like gold polka dots in this thing, in this blanket. So I told her let's pick out anything gold that she wanted. So she got those two things. And then also over here, we did find something that wasn't gold, but it was fun for her. And it says, make your holidays sparkle and shine. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's got little Christmas trees on there, but I just put this over here with her flowers. And she also has this angel, which she keeps in her room year around, but it is like Christmassy. We got this at Hobby Lobby last Christmas, but she always keeps that in her room. And then on her bed, we added this pillow from Home Goods. It is a gold Christmas tree and it has the little tassels on the side. And then she also picked out this gold nutcracker. She's got wings, so she kind of looks like an angel too. She is so pretty, but this is from Hobby Lobby, if you're interested. I love her little ballet shoes. Still need to take the tag off. It's $10 if anyone is wondering. But then over here on this side of her room, she's got this little bench, and this is actually where she keeps a lot of her toys in here. Um, but we just got this snowflake pillow, and she had this pillow on her bed um, before we decorated for Christmas, but I thought this snowflake pillow would go perfect with all of her decor, and this is also from Home Goods. But her room is super cute. I love it. I feel like there's just these little small details of Christmas everywhere, super subtle, but still very festive, and I feel like they're definitely going to be able to keep this cleaner. Last time when I put a Christmas tree in her room, it was just a mess. So I don't think she's really ready for that yet, but this is perfect for their age. But now we're in Ross's room and I wanted to show you guys a few things he picked out. He wasn't quite as excited to pick out Christmas decor for his room. So he's got a few things in here that he picked out. We have this joyful pillow that we got at Hobby Lobby. This is his favorite thing, this Santa Claus pillow. And he just loved how the feet came out of it. He thinks that's so cute. Um, and then over here on his side table, we got this llama because the kids feel like Bailey looks like a llama, our, our golden doodle. Um, so he's like, it looks like Bailey. So we got this llama over here. And then also I got this at the at home store and I just felt like it pulled a little bit more red over here to this area since we've got a lot of red going on over here like at the end of his bed and everything i just wanted a little bit of pop of red over there in that corner too so the sun's starting to go down so i thought i'd come out here and show you guys at the front of the house this is how everything looks all together with the nets on the bushes this is the other side i love how these over here twinkle so cool and then we've got our snowman over here looking so cute all lit up how adorable is this i love how the front of our house turned out so festive so i actually ended up adding a few more things to justin's tree i went outside and i was digging through some of our ornaments and i forgot that i got these um this one's from grand cayman and then i also got one from paris 
and I was thinking I was going to do like a travel tree and I just always forget to collect the ornaments so I didn't have enough to really do a travel tree but I ended up putting some like sentimental ornaments on his tree so we've got Ross's first Christmas over here the lights are really messing with the focus on this camera but Ross's first Christmas he had a like firefighter room and then um, I also put this one in here this was on our first Christmas tree when we were married and then we have Julie's first Christmas over here her room was in ladybug themed so um, and we used to call her Julie bug so this is from her first Christmas and then we also have our um, first Christmas married over here 2009 and Justin is actually from South Carolina and so we got this from his Nana a few years ago so I put this on the tree this snowman was also on our first Christmas tree when we were married and then we've got this one over here that he made in 1995 so I think he would have been like seven years old when he made that and also up here at the top, I also put this one that we got from our first Disney World trip. We went in Christmas, I think it was 2017, so I got this one up here. But if I find any more sentimental ornaments, I'm going to probably put them over here on this tree. And I think from now on, whenever we travel, I'm going to try to start collecting the ornaments so I can have an ornament for all the places we've traveled to. So I also had a few of these picks left over, these like swirly ones. So I'm just popping these in the tree too and I'm probably gonna add just a few to the top to have like a topper on here. Just like that, I finished this tree up. I've got my topper in there and a few picks throughout the tree as you can see. Got a few down here. I feel like I might could add one more down here. Um, and if I find one, I'll end up popping it in. But whenever you are like behind the desk anyway, you can't see really the bottom of the tree. So, yep, I am super happy with it. I think it turned out so cute. And I love how we've got these little sentimental ornaments in here now. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Leave it a thumbs up if you did, and I'm going to leave some more videos up here on the screen for you guys, just in case y'all want to check them out and get all caught up on my Christmas decorating this year. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!